Good evening. This is the opening to this week's shop talk. Uh, this machining content is going to be kind of broken up. The camera kind of run out of battery. So this part of the pro little project I started to make the adapter for the angle grinder. Um, basically, what we do is we'll screw it onto the angle grinder and use grinding wheels. I'm going to make another one to use small cutoff wheels. Excuse me. And that's uh, going to be also probably on next week's video. A couple of other things I've got in the work, little minor projects. Uh, we may have some slow machining content in the next few weeks. Uh, basically, you're looking at, uh, I've had the you know, Eaton's ask me to step hires up. We're really tight on some aftermarket parts. It's going to basically serve, actually some of it service of the sister plants. So they've asked to step our overtime up to 12 hours a day, and we, I'm working both days this weekend, uh, eight-hour shifts. But now I'm allowed to go in early. Today I went in and was off about 12.20 or something like that and got home. But as you can see, I'm dressed with a pair of shorts. I went and played 18 holes of golf by myself. And uh, so that, and also I'm doing laundry. And I'm watering my new grass too. So that I'm trying to get established under these trees. It's probably gonna to have to be an ongoing process all summer. Trees, every time we've done this, the trees have sucked the water, grass right out. So what I'm doing this year is gonna to try to water it. So while I got the camera running, I'll just go handheld right here and I'll show you what I'm doing and that'll be in the opening. If you'll notice, maybe you can see my sprinkler. I don't know if you can or not. But right here is my, my new grass that's right here beside the house. And I'm running the sprinkler to basically I'm going to put down a, enough water, like about an inch of water, and I'm going to move it to this other area here and get it watered real good at least once a week to try to get this grass established. And to make life a lot easier, I bought a hose reel. It came today from Amazon. I'm so busy working, I don't even like to go to the store. So uh, that's this where we at this week. This day on uh, this week's mail. I ordered one of these engineer's black books, which has a lot of this simple information without having to go with the complete machinist manual. And uh, it's also included, they got a drill sharpening gauge that comes with it that's here. So that's something else for the home shop. So we well, thought we'd include that. Ladies and gentlemen, another video ordered. This is another this week's purchases from Amazon. Ordered a face shield. So uh, the one I have been at the shop when I grind and use the side grinders a little bit. That's good, so I'll just pick me up a good one. This is a 3M, it's a fairly, you know, it's not a real fancy one, but it's really nice. It's, so, this is the new safety shield. So that's the okay, next piece ladies of and gentlemen. This came, was given to me today. It's found told me to have it. It's a Jacobs Chuck with a one more taper that'll fit my lathe. A little dirty, it'll have to be cleaned up. Let's see if you can see the numbers on it. I don't have a key. I'll have to find the key or round up a key for it. But the next latest thing happened this week.
want to place it all. And then we go to close. We're going to use the tri on today. So. Okay. the other side off now by the way and this is it let's put that little flat spot there we'll double check the other side before we go in and before we by the way I'm using a trigon a 432 trigon insert today I've got several of these that I've seen of a normal CNMG, this is a WMG that I'm using today. It's cleaned up. Okay. Now one other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to index a part. All that uh, dock of mark on there is for is to uh, align it. So we're going to drill and tap one end and then we're going to turn the other. So this is the end we're going to go ahead and we're going to drill and tap for. Uh, we're going to drill it and then we're going to tap it with the 5 tap. And uh, I'm not going to, you know, bore you with all of it. I'm just going to hit the center right there while we got the camera on. Then i got to figure out the, the, the drill for what I need to do here. I may have to bore it. I don't know if I've got a drill actually big enough. So while I'm thinking, we're going to have to bore it. Bore it. And bore it. Bore it. This is pretty good hard, uh, you know, even though it's a good brand new sharp tap because of the size of it. She is not, and you know, and I've got a, you notice it's a spiral flute that I ordered, which bring the chips out. And it, it, it's not a bottoming tap, but I've allowed enough in the, in it for it to bottom. And I've got the tap, basically I started it got in line but I, I'm, I'm using the chuck key and the guard to kind of hold it in place because this is pretty this is steel and it is bored to the tap size I just took a boring bar and bored it to tap size because I didn't have a drill bit I got to be careful leaning on it as hard as you got to turn it without breaking it because you can break a tap that would not be good. I'm going to go ahead and take this wrench out and go over here and see if I can back off a little bit. Because it is being leaned on awfully hard. Even though we do have uh, there we go. Let me see if I get a little bit of juice in there. 
Another dirty trick. Use my dome bottler. I thought about that a long time ago using that dome bottle. Let's see if we get a little bit of fluid in there. We use a little wrench till I got to put some leverage on it. That auto tossed method, I guess you should won't call this. This is the this is the mechanic method of tapping. I just don't have a good well, you gotta I uh, hit that's the bottom right there. That's on that's on the bottom. So that should be enough. For me. Let's just back her out. And that should be plenty enough. Hopefully I, I've allowed for it to we'll have a look see when it comes out of here. See because the other side, all we're gonna do the other side is turn it and we're gonna die take a die and we're gonna thread it to where the collar it will fit up on it so oh yeah that looks good to me all right we'll take we'll bring you back It's basically made. Turn the grinder around. It's got to attach my craftsman grinder. But you see that it's uh, basically there. It is. I'm gonna make me another one of these. Just the mount of just the mount of bolt or arbor on. This is fairly simple. It won't have the eight taper cut into it like this, but I'm just gonna make it. Um, and we'll probably add a clip of it in too we get it made. Because it's going to be a lot simpler to make than this one. So we'll make it and probably add some another view of it on my bench chair. And, uh, final little project. I'm going to make another one when we put these wheels like this on. I'm going to do the same thing. Except I'm just going to turn the hex down and thread it for a for that. So, uh, and I'll probably include that in this video. I made this little adapter up some time ago for work for one of our Devo machines out of 8620. And this morning, while I was getting ready to change the wheel, I thought I'd shoot a little bit of video of it. The reason why I used 8620 is just a piece of scrap steel from work I took home with me. A little deeper wheel stick right on top of it and it just uses a screw to go into it. They had a uh, countersink type screw to hold the wheels and you had to take the screwdriver to call it all kind of problems. Uh, by the way, I'm uh, doing a little extra here. We're going to put it in this week's video. Uh, what I'm doing, this is my cart mount for my GPS. I uh, use a GPS on the golf course. What it does, it ha it's a GPS map of the uh, golf course, and it tells you your distances. And this is a basically a mount that I've. Uh, it was a commercial mount, and I've modified over the years into to this, and it's loose. So I'm taking it apart, do a little bit of work on it, to put it back in the golf bag. You can see my bench is a little messy. 
I need to clean it up. In fact, I'm thinking about trying to Tightening this up is going to do the job. May have to oh yeah. It's going to be just fine right there. See what it was, the original mount was this piece and this piece. I machined a little piece of plastic and it's pinned. And this piece, basically this is machined that sits in the cup holder of the golf cart. And then this won't turn, it's just we got really loose. So basically we just tightened it up good. Now let's put the well I need to turn it 180 degrees like that. GPS actually clips onto that. And the clip was broke so I just changed it and drilled and tapped it for some quarter twenty button head screws. And my mount sort of wonky so I must have drilled and tapped both ends of them. Hmm, have to go a certain way. Well, I should have paid attention to take it apart, should I? I thrilled, threaded it on both ends, which may not sound like the smartest thing in the world, but the idea was That what I'm just doing right now, it'd just be stronger because there wasn't no bolts or nothing put in it. It was just threaded through to hold it. So it wasn't. Thank God if I could hold on to stuff, people, I'd be all right. Y'all aggravated me to been aggravating me been flopping around moving, so I wanted to repair it so I can put it in the up. Uh, I'm gonna charge the the um, unit up tonight. Oh I gotta get the the bags in the car. There, that's now that's repaired. GPS has clips in it. You see, and it sits like that. That way, you can look at it from the inside, except in the cup holder. It's fairly set. Okay. I don't know how much you're gonna be able to see till they get close, but we're gonna. I, I was letting JD walk and noticed they was planting this field of some board. And uh, we're going to get a shot of the plant. I don't know. Actually, it's my cousin and her husband, and he has got her running the tractor. Real interesting. This kind of goes along with the other video. This field was covered in manure and it's being sprayed, I guess. And now they're going to this is the corn that's going to be planted for the cow feed. And so this is the cow feed corn. And this two thirds of this field belongs to mother. This is some of the land that my cousins rent from my mom. Well, actually, they pay me and I manage it at, uh, since mom's in the home now. But uh, we're just getting the clip. Clip go on my YouTube video for the week. And usually, this is a you know, 
last weekend's had the poop video well now we got the corn plant video uh, we we're not one lonely farmer we get it done around here so and they come around up close and we'll shut her off we had to this week's youtube loads and loads of fun i'll cut it off before the tractor gets close enough to you a lot of, they're, they're like camera shy anyway so I like to laugh and they say you can't see who's in the tractors anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I just need another clip for, this, for the video. <laughs> this one ain't going on Facebook. This is going on YouTube. And as it comes up to make the turn, we'll shut her off. One, two, three, four. You can't that way you won't see who it is. I'm having to work 12 hours this week. And this ain't 2.30 in the afternoon, by God. This is 2.20 in the morning, so I can be at work at 3 a.m. I'm going to throw this little clip into the thing here just to give you an idea what it feels like to get up at 2 a.m. and be at work at 3. Well, this is 2.30. There goes Janie. There's Cheerios. I get Cheerios, JD gets Cheerios. So what we're going to have for breakfast this morning is Cheerios. It's actually Honey Nut Cheerios. It's actually not Honey Nut Cheerios. It's store brand Honey Nut Cheerios on tight one. With some raisins. That's what I eat at 2 o'clock in the morning. If the OIA off to work we go. I'm eating, going to eat supper. And uh, a lot of times you heard me talk about living alone and doing things sometimes. Well, we're going to put this in the video. This is smoked sausage, you know, like pick up in the grocery store. And this is French cut green beans with pieces of mushrooms in it. French cut green beans can be microwave, which is real handy and it tastes good. So this drain, we just drain the water off of them, microwave them in the, in the uh, uh, mushrooms for about five minutes. And then also that's what you do with the sausage is all microwave. So it takes about 10 minutes, a good quick meal. It's 12 hour days. You As you can tell, I've quick. got the same clothes on, so you've done the dead giveaway. The opening and the closing's done the same time this week. Uh, basically, like I explained just in the opening that you see at the start of the video, uh, my work schedule has been crazy. Let's put it bluntly, crazy. Uh, we, I worked right now, let's see, it's you know, I think it's almost 50, uh, 62, something, 61 something hours, and I got to work eight hours tomorrow. It's just way busy. And uh, I'll probably do a, go in again and, and get up at 3 and go in at 4 a.m. So uh, it's kind of a real busy, busy, busy for me right now. You may see less videos because of it, because it really makes it hard to do these videos. Uh, I hope you enjoy this week's video. Uh, I'm basically putting in a few. It's the typical. It's going to be, as you've already seen, it's going to be the typical video. It's got some machining, some clips, what we got this week, and some of the things that's going on this week. So, again, to all the subscribers, all the new subscribers that subscribed this week, thank you. God bless all of you. I, you know, you're the people that make us do these uh, run these videos and make these videos so i hope you enjoy this video